What does that mean to have TB disease? Let me give it to you straight. You have to pay attention to TB. If you don't, it can kill you. It's that simple. <coughs> I was afraid to tell anyone. I just ignored it, you know? And I thought it would go away. I'm OK. Listen, we going to have any golf buckets on? Orchids will be coming in Monday. You've got some in now. I don't know if you want to send them out, but you can send them out. Okay, good. Take a look at them first. Yeah. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to be back. Now get moving. You got a lot yeah. more to do. Let me get that order done. Okay. Well, the people at the clinic told me I had TB. It was terrible. But uh, I stopped working and took the medicine like they said. What else could I do? They took good care of me. It wasn't so bad. But I needed to go back to work. I got teenagers, they eat like horses. I knew I needed to take my medicine, but I just didn't have time to get to the clinic. They said uh, when I wasn't contagious anymore, it was okay to go back to work. So I went. I'm his outreach worker, and I became very concerned about why Frank just stop coming into the clinic because it's not like him to do this without telling me. Hey, hi, what's up? How you doing? Listen, well, Mr. I, I, Frank, I really have to speak to you. I really got to. So I decided I, I really needed to go out and see why he didn't come into the clinic. But your health comes first, Frank. I said I was feeling fine. I needed to take care of my family. I have a car right down the block. Listen, I only miss taking the medicine a few days. Yeah, but is it really going to make that much yes, of a difference? Yes, it is. It's, it's too, it makes a great deal of difference. You need to take your medication every day, Frank. And so, you miss two days, that's two days too many. You need to I told you. Frank that if he didn't keep up with his regimen, that he can become I'm sicker. And who would be there to take care of his family? I couldn't argue with that. I said, OK. Now to help me out, the outreach worker brings my medicine by the job a few times a week. You have something I can take with? Yes, I have a book to some you. I feel like such a kid. <laughs> That's OK, Frank. I go out each day to work with patients who have been diagnosed with tuberculosis. Life is tough enough. Who wants to know that they have TB? Have you been here before? Yeah, I was here a couple of days ago to get tested. Somebody at my job got TB, so we all had to get tested. I'm here to get the results. I'm really scared. <coughs> yeah. Somebody at the health department told me I've been in contact with someone who had TB, so... You, you too? Yeah. Uh, I, I've already taken a few tests. I've been here already a few times, so... Uh, but I told them I was feeling fine, you know. Just They said I had to come in anyway, so... Lopez, Tina. Oh, good luck. There is good news. TB is preventable and curable. However, TB medicine must be taken as prescribed for at least six months. You can beat this disease if you take your medicine. When people come to the clinic, they are often frightened and have a lot of questions. Our job is to answer their questions, to make them feel comfortable, and to help them understand the difference between TB infection and TB disease. Hi. Hi. My name is Guy from the Department of Health. Uh, let me see you know, your arm, please. You have a reaction. You go to the skin test. The positive reaction means Tina has been infected with TB bacteria. You can become infected if you spend a lot of time around someone who has active TB disease and is coughing the bacteria into the air. Okay, so I may have gotten it breathing maybe at work, just from working closely with someone. Tina was most likely exposed from working in close contact with someone who had active TB disease. We're going to be doing all the tests. Tina will be given a chest x-ray and other tests to determine if she has TB disease. I was worried because I can't believe I would get a letter from the health department that I have, t I have to go and get tested for TB. 
I mean, someone at my office would actually get the disease? I didn't even know it existed. What does that mean, infection? All right, what infection means is that the TB bacteria is in your body, but it's not active at this point. When the bacteria enters the body, the body's defenses begin to work by building a wall around them, the way a scab forms over a cut. The bacteria can stay alive inside these walls, but they are not active. While they are not active, the bacteria can't do damage to the body, and they don't make you sick. This is TB infection. Can I give it to someone else? No, you're not contagious. You can only spread it if you have the active disease in your lungs. Hi, Miss Lopez. How are you doing this afternoon? Okay, I guess. Most people who have TB infection do not develop TB disease, but some people are at greater risk of developing TB disease. These people should take medicine to prevent the disease from developing. It's called preventive treatment. And you don't have the disease right now. What do you do for someone with TB infection? In somebody like yourself, um, we usually suggest them to take preventive treatment. What is the medicine? It's called isoniazid or INH. INH is a medication given to prevent TB disease from developing. We recommend Tina take it every day for at least six months. That would be the minimum you have to take it to make sure that you're fine, okay. you'll be fine. We recommend preventive treatment for people who have positive skin tests and have been in close contact with a person who has TB disease, for people who have HIV infection or other conditions that weaken the immune system, for people who inject drugs, for those who've been infected with TB within the last two years, and all babies and young children. Frankly, this has not been a good day. Uh, I mean, I've hardly been sick a day in my life, and I certainly don't feel sick now, but the doctors and everyone here have been really nice. What do you mean I have TB disease? TB is a serious illness. You can get TB after you're infected, after it enters the body, if the body's defenses break down, or you may already have inactive TB bacteria in your body, and it becomes active when the defenses of the body break down. This may be due to aging, illness, drug or alcohol abuse, or HIV infection. Now what this means is that the bacteria that is in the body, encapsulated, breaks through that wall and it can multiply. It can make you sick. And if not treated, it can kill you. I mean, at least I'm not in the hospital or anything like that and they caught it early enough. And, uh, and hopefully I can tell my friends and, and my family uh, to get tested as well. So in case they have it, they can get it you know, caught early enough. <coughs> tell me what I have to do to get better you need to take at least four different medications. People on TB treatment must take medication for at least six months. The Department of Health offers services to help patients complete their treatment. How can I keep up with all those medications? Well, the Department of Health offers a program known as the DOT program, and that stands for Directly Observed Therapy. We send a healthcare worker to your house, and they watch you, in essence, take your medication. And we try to make it convenient for you, and we try to fit into your daily routines. So we can come to your job, or we can come to your house, or you can come to us. Yeah, but if I feel better, why do I have to continue taking my medicine? All right, even though you feel better, you still have active bacteria in your body. If you stop taking your medication, the bacteria can multiply. It's possible for you to become drug resistant, and that'll make it harder to cure the disease. TB disease and I took the medicine at first and I was feeling a, a, I was feeling a little better but I didn't keep up with it so when I started to feel bad um, I was afraid to tell anyone I just ignored it you know and I thought it would go away when we finally found Cecilia she was in bad shape she even infected our kids Thank goodness we found them in time. They're all on preventive treatment now, and they're going to be okay. But it's hard on her though, because now she has to take more medication than before. But she's doing fine. She hasn't missed a day of medication. 
Well, I know I did the wrong thing because I'm paying for it, you know, and so are my kids. I, I spent like four months in the hospital and I almost died. I don't know, I, I, I was really close to losing, losing the fight. And I did it to myself. And I would just tell other people, you know, don't do what I did. Just take care of yourself and take your medicine. The medicine is generally safe, but it is important to tell your doctor right away if you notice any of the following side effects. Nausea, vomiting, your skin turns yellow, your urine becomes dark, your vision changes, you develop a fever, numbness or tingling of your hands or feet, or a rash. What do I have to do to keep it from spreading? Well, the best way to keep from spreading it is to take your medication as prescribed. And while you're contagious, you shouldn't go to work. And please remember that when you cough or sneeze, use the tissue to cover your mouth. If you take your medication as prescribed, in a few weeks, you'll no longer be contagious. You can go back to your life as normal. There's no shame of blame in TB. Anyone can get it. We're here to help you. I'm taking preventive medicine, and I know I'm going to be all right. I'm on directly observed therapy. I'm getting better. If you take your medicine, uh, TB doesn't have to mean the end of your life or anything like that. Keep up with your medicine. Don't stop. And do it for your children.